Look, I'm gonna give the cards a little bit of a mix up here. You give them a little bit of a mix up, get an ooh and ah from them, whatever. If they want, they can cut the cards a few times, all legit. And as you say to them, look, I'm gonna try to read your mind. I'm trying to do it right now. Give the cards a cut, they do. You say keep cutting the cards until you're bored or until your arm falls off or whatever, which they do. You say once you're satisfied, take a card. And you say to them, I want you to take a peek at the card. They take a quick peek at the card. I am not looking at it. Then you say cover it with your hand, which they do. Boom, like this. We'll use this bandana here. Cover it with their hand. I pick up the deck and say, I think you'd agree you could be thinking of any card in the pack, right? They say yes. You say, I'm getting the sense. Getting the sense. Oh, I think it's uh, I think it's an ace. I think it's maybe a black ace. I think it's maybe the, uh, wow, ace of spades. And they go, oh my god, oh my god, you read my mind. They say, actually, I didn't read your mind. I was kidding. Do you want to know how I do this? And they go, yes. They say, well, go hard. Give, go ahead and give the cards a cut. They give the cards a cut. Give them another cut. They give them another cut. It's all good. They can cut them in and say, look, you cut them until you're sad, happy. And as soon as they're done, you say, what I did is I actually have a photographic memory. And they don't believe it. They say, well, here, you are satisfied, right? Take the card. You don't even look at it. They don't even look at it. You cover it with your hand. And of course, they cover it with their hand again and again like this, several people. And you say, now nobody knows what the card is. Nobody has any idea. You cut the cards, you got a card out of your hand. So you can't claim later on that it read your mind. And when I say photographic memory, I mean, all I have to do is take the cards and watch in less than five seconds. I can take a photo of all the cards in the pack. There. I know which one is missing. The only one that's missing, amazing, I can't believe you did it, but you cut to the same card. Is it in fact the Ace of Spades again? And it is. This week, I'm gonna be giving away uh, my crash course in coin magic. Very popular product of mine. Whether you're a beginner, rank beginner, and you wanna learn some coin tricks, or that next level, and the intermediate, for both those levels, this project, my crash course in coin magic is perfect. So you're gonna have a chance to win a one of 12 of them just by leaving a comment below. Once I'm gonna tell you the question of the week, it's coming right up, okay? I'm also gonna announce the winners of last week's contest. Last week, I had a contest for secret files. It's, a, it's card tricks and coin tricks and mentalists, a whole bunch of stuff on there. I'm gonna give away right here in the video, I'm gonna announce the names of all 12 winners of secret files, that's coming too. Here's the question of the week. I figured since this trick is about the, uh, the myth, of, of photographic memory. My question to you for this week is if you could only remember one thing, one experience you've had your whole life, if you could only remember one event, one experience, what would that memory be? The one thing you can remember. Leave a comment down below and you'll automatically be entered into the contest to win one of 12 of my crash course in Coin Magic. This is the awesome Cy Stebbins setup. And it was created by a guy named Cy, that's S-I, and then Stebbins, S-T-E-B-B-I-N-S, the Cy Stebbins setup. Uh, and if you're familiar with this, and now that you go, oh, he was using the Cy Stebbins, I encourage you, don't stop watching the video because there's a bunch of little handling points and the psychology really makes this trick uh, really, really special. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of things you can do with this system I'm gonna share with you now, but the trick I just shared with you is one of my very favorite. So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds, notice the order. This is by a magician's called Chased, C-H-A-S-E-D, because the word Chased has the club uh, at the beginning, then the heart, so C-H for the chase, then an A, forget the A, the S is for spade, then E, forget the E, and then finally D for diamond, Chased, okay? Now what you're gonna do is every third, every, you're gonna create a, an order in the pack that nobody will ever spot but another magician, okay? I'm gonna take my ace, ace. Uh, two, three, the next one will be four. So I take the four of hearts. Now five, six, next is gonna be seven. Then eight, nine, next is gonna be the 10, okay? Then 10, jack, queen, king, it's gonna be the king. Then ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and so on and so on. So this is how the deck looks when it's totally assembled. Now the first thing I want you to notice is, boy oh boy, it looks like there's no kind of pattern whatsoever. No kind of pattern, okay? But I know I can figure out a whole bunch of magic secrets because of this random order. Now this is why I love 
this is my first car trip and performing for people, okay? Because I can take out the deck, I can have someone take a look at the card, they can go through them and see that they're all different, they look like a normal deck. Then I can perform a trick or two, or perform the trick I'm about to share with you the sequence to. I can perform that, and then immediately go into other card tricks, and after that, it's okay if the deck is thoroughly shuffled. So this is a great first trick to do. They cut the pack, they take a card off, all they have to do is see the bottom. Four plus three is seven. Clubs, hearts, beat diamonds. It's gonna be seven of clubs this time. Seven of clubs. So I, all, all I have to see is the bottom card. So they cut the cards, they cut the cards. They take a card off. The first time they look at it, they then put their hand on it. And I say, I'm gonna to try to read your mind. And you, I think you'd agree, you could have cut to any card. And just in the moment, I pick up the cards and spread them. You could have cut to any card. I see the six of diamonds on the bottom, right? So six plus three is nine. Clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. We're back to nine of clubs. So I know it's the nine of clubs. Even though they fairly cut the card, they could have stopped anywhere, even though there's no way I could know that. I look them in the eyes or I say, take off your socks. I need to smell your feet. Whatever weird thing I'm going to do, I then say nine of clubs. And boom, I got it. So that first phase is a shocker. Now, what I love about the size seven setup is if I take the card and put it on top, it's immediately set up. Every card's still in perfect order. So they cut the cards again and I say, so they're amazed. And one of the great things when someone's amazed, when you then say to them, you know what? I'm gonna tell you how I do it. It's like, what? This just got better. He's gonna let us inside. I'm gonna tell you how I do it. Music to their ears. I say, I actually have a photographic memory. And they go, oh, sure. I, I can remember an astonishing number of things. Look, I'll show you. Cut the cards again, which they do. Take a card off, cover it with your hand. This time, even I, even you don't know what the card is, so I can't even read your mind, okay? But I, I'll know which card is missing from the deck. All I have to do is quickly look at them. Uh, there, 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 I just memorized every card. And they thinking, bullshit, there's no way you did. But I saw my two of spades. So clubs, hearts, spades, diamonds. I know it's a diamond, and I know it's the five, it's the five of diamonds. So when I say, yeah, the only card missing was the five of diamonds, everyone's got their hands, no one seems the drama, drama is perfect. So people start saying, no way, no way. They lift their hand and they show the five, and the place busts wide, okay? What's really cool about this, last thing I'm gonna tell you, is I've actually sometimes done it two or three times. Did you win? One of my 12 secret files collection, magic, mentalism, coin tricks, card tricks, the whole bit. Did you win? You're about to find out. Here are the 12 names from last week's secret files contest. Tom Havel, two L's. Ethan Robinson, Nicholas Peters, Kitty Samurai. Oh, I got like a witch. Oh, sorry. Jack Ace, Pro Gaming. I have a bunch of gamers following now, it's awesome. Best ever saw. Song. Vanishing Ollie, Henry O'Neill, Josh Van Groen, Maria DeVale, Went, Went, I think Went is your first name, Went Yost, and uh, last one, Cards and Coins, U12-1, congratulations. If I just said uh, your name, as always, send an email with your real name, your YouTube name, and your full shipping address, please, including the zip code. They tell me they gotta look up zip codes. They get mad at my team, okay? Zip codes. Uh, send it all contact at sankeymagic.com. They will fire out your prize. Congratulations. And don't forget, do not forget, leave a comment down below. Don't miss your chance to learn all this cool coin magic with the crash course in coin magic. <laughs> crash course. I'll leave a comment down below. Answer the question if you could only remember one thing, one event, one experience in your whole life, which one would you choose to remember? Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Hopefully my love of magic, my enthusiasm for teaching and sharing uh, what I've been doing forever, hopefully it's coming across. I really appreciate all the comments. I mean, so many of you have been following me for so long and the comments you leave, you have no idea. Sometimes you guys leave a positive comment and it literally gives me goosebumps. Maybe it's just that middle child, so needful for praise. Uh, but I really appreciate them. They mean the world to me. You guys know I really do look at a lot of the comments. Jay should maybe get a life? I don't know. But So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, know that I don't just do card tricks or coin tricks. I do optical illusions. Sometimes I show really inappropriate intimate photos. Lots of reasons to subscribe to the channel. So subscribe to this channel, I'm trying to get up to, I guess what, 500,000. I'm gonna do a big ass contest, give away a ton of stuff. So subscribe to the channel and also follow me on the IG. I'm relatively new on that. Instagram, having a blast. 
sharing my original one panel cartoons, family photos, not even my family, uh, sharing magic tips, uh, sharing a whole bunch of stuff. So you'll find a link directly below to my, to it's the real Jay Sankey. Because there are so many fakes, not really. The real Jay Sankey. So follow me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you have a great day. Actually, don't just have a great day, make a great day. No, no, he's getting new AG on us. But it's true, you gotta make that great day. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. Thank you.